everyone. My name's Amber and I'm gonna be bringing you guys through a what I eat in a day in college. I'm 20 years old and I'm a junior in college in SoCal. So I'm gonna show you guys what I eat to stay energized throughout the day. I've been vegan for like six, seven years since my freshman year of high school. So here I've got my wonderful breakfast. This is my go-to. I love an avocado toast. So easy, so reliable. And then I have a hibiscus tea with sparkling water that I got from the coffee shop that my roommate works at. So believe it or not, I started my day out at the farmer's market because my college hosts a farmer's market on campus every week. So me and my roommate stopped by to grab a few things. Hey, that looks like us. <laughs> We're the Fungus Brothers. Hello! Hi. So now that I'm back home, I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of everything we got. Starting off, we got some delicious berries. Then Laura got these heirloom cherry tomatoes that I used for my toast. No offense, sorry, Laura, I borrowed a couple. I promise I'll give them back later. Laura also got this ginger root and I got this cherimoya. Back in like 2016, when I started the whole vegan thing, I was following all these Hawaiian vegan YouTubers and they would always post cherimoya. So I bought it for $9. Probably not my smartest move. And it's not even ripe yet. I'll try in a couple days. Oh my god. <laughs> There's little beans in it. The initial flavor was really sweet and then it tastes like rotten. It's kind of like Asian pear mixed with something. With like a little mango? I think it might be overripe. No. I didn't expect that texture. It tastes like it was soaked in water. <laughs> And look at this little bag that I brought with me. It's a little orange bag. It matches my college town. Orange. I got this from a fan a while ago in my P.O. box, and I keep their little note with me. Shout out Claire. Thank you so much, Claire, for this bag. I love it. Then we purchased some eggs. They're very colorful. Then I got this bag. This was also gifted to me from Deuce. D-O-U-S. I love this bag. And I used it to carry the bread that I got. So first we've got a cinnamon. Oh, it's not even sliced. Cinnamon raisin bread. And then we got some brioche buns, because after 12, it's buy one get one free at the bread stand. Anyways, that's it for the haul. Mm -mm -mm. Now here's the thing. I usually eat at least two or three slices of avocado bread, but I ran off bread because now I only have cinnamon raisin and buns. I only had this one piece of bread left. Actually, I had two, but then I burnt the second one. Somehow I burnt a hole in the middle. So usually my breakfast is like one of the bigger meals of the day. I'm probably gonna have my lunch a lot sooner than usual because I'm gonna be hungry sooner. I'm already hungry. Also, I was not planning on getting this beverage today because I wanted to show you guys. I got these dried flowers online. It's just these little blue flowers and you soak them in hot water and then it gives you this beautiful blue tea. And then when you mix it with an acid like lemon, it literally changes color and turns purple So I'm gonna make a really cool drink with it. Just trust me guys. We're gonna make this drink because I really want to show you Boom Why did I say boom like that? No, look at that color. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh no Now we watch how it reacts to acid <laughs> It basically just tastes like watered down lemonade. I've also added sparkling water to this in the past. It's really yummy. It's actually mixing together a lot. It looks kind of weird. We've got two drinks. I'm gonna mix this so that the sweetness mixes in. Obviously, it is so watery because there's like no milk in this, really. I probably didn't make the recipe right, but good flavor. I don't drink these every morning. I just thought it would look cool in the video. I don't know. Well, that's about it for my breakfast, so I'll catch you again very soon for my lunch. These are so pretty. Yo! It's lunch time. So for lunch, I'm thinking I'm gonna use one of my little Hello Fresh meals. So this one is called apricot, almond, and chickpea tagine. So I got all the ingredients in here. I got three Hello Fresh meals recently because I'm in college. I don't always have time. Sometimes I need a quick, easy meal. I don't have time to run all the way to the store to get ingredients. So with Hello Fresh, I get the ingredients delivered straight to my door. They're already portioned out for the meal perfectly, so there's no food waste. And Hello Fresh is always a great way to learn new recipes because you literally get sent these entire like meal recipe instructions cards and I like the HelloFresh. I can always cook it with my friends. It's a really nice uh, bonding experience of being able to follow a recipe together. So I'm gonna go bust this open and get to cooking but if you guys ever want to try out HelloFresh you can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Now let's get to busting this open. I want some apricot almond every chippy tashi now I want some apricot. Oh my god I love like little packages of food. The recipe also calls for one clove of garlic so they throw one clove of garlic in the bag. <laughs> There's no waste here. Drop up the herbs, drop up the herbs, drop the base. 
stock. Sauce. Delicious lunch. Let's give this a taste. To be honest, I was taste testing this the whole time I was cooking it. It's pretty good. The perfect bite. Oh my god. The complexity of flavors. Oh. Literally. <laughs> yeah, the spice blend, it's like sweet and like smoky. It almost yeah. tastes like barbecue or something. But I'm like, this is so good. Lots of protein in this dish. This is legitimately so good. Mm. I'm gonna finish my lunch and then I have class after this and then my college chairman is having some very special guest visitors today at the film school and then I'll make my dinner after that. Let's head to class. So today I decided to walk to school because I had a bit of extra time. I was walking to the film school because I'm a TV writing and production major there and today in class we were shooting live musical performances. So over here you can see all the different camera angles and then what camera is on program and then for one of the segments I worked as a cam op, a camera operator and this was my shot list as camera two. Um, out of three cameras that were shooting. And then we headed over to this masterclass event where we got to watch a Q&A with the cast of Squid Game and the director. And it was so cool. So here are my favorite clips from it. The set was cute. <laughs> but as time passed by, we can see blood all over the cute, colorful place. That like, kind of makes me focus on my acting. Yeah. Yes. It helped a lot. Thank you, directors. <laughs> For me, it's like the moment of my life because I'm a student and I'm talking to you guys. You, you all are my friends. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back home. I just saw the whole Squid Games cast. Is this real life? I'm just kidding. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just got home. Now it's time for dinner. And I guess you could say I was a little bit squid-spired. So I'm going to cook something Korean tonight. <laughs> yeah, so I was feeling so happy to see all the Korean people at my school So I'm gonna make something from this cookbook that my roommate Laura was so kind to gift me the Korean vegan So my first recipe is gonna be Sundubu chige. It's basically a stew with soft tofu. So we're gonna get to making that. So here I have all my ingredients Got my silken tofu. I can't reach. Yeah, help us with a bean Give it. Thank you. So this is gochuga. Oh my god. I can't pronounce anything. Gochugaru so this is gochu- oh my god, so this is- okay, okay, so this is gochugaru. Gochugaru, it's the red pepper flakes instead of the paste. Gochugaru. Gucci, gang. Gucci, Gucci gang. Spend two racks on a new chain. Hey. <laughs> I finished dinner. I've been craving this for so long. I've never made it myself. How do I say cheers in Korean? Cheers. Do you know how? What? Chan. Mmm. This is so delightful. Hey, I'm just like the people in Squid Games. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I literally use like a box of vegetable broth. And what's wrong about that? It tastes like tomatoes. It does, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yummy. Could you give it a rating in Korean? Um, <laughs> just like Squid Games. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, y'all dark. Eight. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. We're just like the bitches in Squid Game right yeah. now. Mm. I really slurped that up. Mm. I think honestly, if you made your own broth, it would have been, been really good. What's up guys? It's after dinner and this is usually around the time of day where I have my snacks because usually during the day I'm too busy to eat on any little tiny things but when I get home and I'm finally chilling that's where I say let's pull out those snacks. So last time I was at the grocery store I found vegan borsan cheese and I have these little crackers I'm gonna eat it with. I've never tried this before. We're doing a little taste test. I got this at Trader Joe's by the way. 
It tastes like Play-Doh and sugar mixed with sour cream and onion. Those crackers are good. Yeah, the crackers are really good. The rice crackers from Trader Joe's. Well, that snack was kind of weird. So now I'm gonna eat my favorite snack, which is a Trader Joe's mini Hold the Dairy ice cream cone. Here's the box. Do you even see this? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Most delicious flavor ice cream. And then this cone. Don't even get me started. That's the perfect snack. And now I believe my little friend here is craving a Baja Blast Freeze from Trader Joe's. From Trader Joe's. From Trader Joe's. From Taco Bell, I meant. So I think we might go to a little drive through get a Baja Blast Freeze. My other favorite snack. Can I get a Baja Blast? With lemonade and some Chick-fil-A sauce and a spicy Southwest salad. Can I get one? Actually make it two. Can I get a number? <laughs> Thank you. Extra fly. Alrighty guys, I believe that's it for my day of eating. Thank you all for tuning in. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe for more. And comment if you want more videos like this. I know I actually haven't done a what I eaten day in like a full year. I could get back to doing this more often if you like. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you again soon. Peace. Bye.